Hi, I'm here at the Tyler History Center. I'm talking with Bill Lawson, who is the executive director of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society. Bill, how did tonight's uh, event, uh, taking a look back at some German heritage in the valley, how did all of this come together? The primary players in this were the Wenglers, Wolfgang and Helga, and Jessica Trickett, who's our collections manager in charge of our exhibit programs. And we, we have the gallery set up for a community history gallery, which changes on a regular basis. And we have items from the Historical Society's collection that reflect on our German heritage and culture here in the Mahoning Valley. And of course, the Wenglers have their own collection of items, and we brought all that together for this very special exhibit. Helga and Wolfgang Wengler uh, contacted us and said that they had this really amazing collection of German-American history that they have collected over the last several decades, um, being involved with the Manor Corps and uh, uh, Sangerfest and the just um, you know celebration of German American culture here in the Mahoning Valley. So we went and uh, took a look at what they had and realized it was um, a gem of just representing the history and contributions of local German Americans. So we decided um, you know we wanted to celebrate that with an exhibit here. Well, I came to the United States in 1956, following my wife. I know her already for five years in Germany. Then I had to travel all the way to America and finally she said yes. It got to be a habit where if somebody moved out of town, like to Arizona or some, they called me up and said, Wolfgang, I got a box full of uh, papers here. Would you like to have them? If not, I'm gonna throw them in the trash. Well, <laughs> from one box, it ended up to be 20 boxes, 30 boxes. Then I started to go through them. You know, I, I come from Frankfurt, uh, Germany. So we don't have, we get dressed like this, you know, we don't have any uh, uh, uniform or whatever, you know. So, um, but in Bavaria, that's what they wear. They wear the dindle, they have the lederhosen for the guys, you know, and the, the jackets, the suits. And so when I joined the Manor Corps, some of the ladies came with the dindle, okay? And I go, oh my God, this is when you sing, when we sing, we gave a concert, you have to have a dindle. And I says, oh my God. So I called my, told my mom, I wrote a letter, I didn't have a telephone, my mom had didn't have a telephone then. That was 1957, I mean, 64, that's when I started the Manor Corps. So anyway, so she came over to visit and she sent me that brown dindle you see downstairs. That's my first dindle, okay? Do you see how small that is? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I wore the dindle, you know, and then Wolfgang, he says, yeah, when you have a dindle, I want to have a lederhosen, you know? So you got to send the lederhosen, you know, because you couldn't, there was no internet or nothing where you can go buy stuff like that, okay? So you actually had to get it from Germany, you know? So this is how I started with the clothes. We had a beautiful choir here, you know, just singing, German singing, and you see all the pictures, the beautiful pictures. And then when you go way back, we were awesome people, the German people, starting in Youngstown to come that early, you know? I hope you enjoyed the display, what we have uh, in the back of us, and have fun. Thank you. Thank you, Wolfgang.